played some grounded today and we uh we killed a wolf spider right at the end we would not have been able to beat more than one at a time for sure but one alone we were able to take on Now it's Resident Evil time. Have fun, Sky. So... I left us at a point in this game last night where we have to fight the next boss, the, f the f second boss battle, giant plant. So let's, uh, let's see if we can pull that off. We're going to want, um, probably a way to treat poison. And our shotgun. And shotgun shells. Blue herb. Let's see. I'm gonna mix this with the green herb. That'll be the one healing item we take, because we have no inventory space. I suppose- wait, do I- do I even have any fucking green herbs? I do. I got one. I think I can probably mix a red herb in there, too. Yep. Look at that. The- the ultimate Resident Evil healing item. Oh, that'll- that'll fix you right up. I have a surprising amount of ammo. Oh my god, why do I have so much ammo? This doesn't feel normal. No, I'm not. Let's just go fight the plant. You fight the plant with fire. I really wish you did. If you play as Jill, Barry shows up with a flamethrower. But, of course, I chose to play as Chris. Just to make things interesting. Great. I drained the water out of that tub. There was nothing in it.
A giant plant is crushing the wall. A swarm of angry moths surrounds it. The shelf is lined with red books. There's one white book sandwiched in between them. Take it. Organic chemistry lab experiment. The similarities in the cellular characteristics of the rapidly growing plant infected with the tyrant virus have been reported in previous papers. However, while repeating these experiments, an interesting new fact became clear. We learned that a chemical in the UMB family, UMB number 20, contains a compound that is toxic to the cells of the plant. We have given UMB number 20 a new name, V-Jolt. If calculations prove correct, when V-Jolt is applied directly to the root of the plant, the entire plant should be dead within 5 seconds. The V-Jolt can be made by simply mixing the VP and UMB chemicals in a specific ratio. However, extra care must be taken when handling these UMB chemicals. They've been known to generate toxic gases if mishandled. The characteristics of each UMB chemical are as follows. Chris can't do anything with that information. I... I want to say Rebecca can help you, but I don't know the conditions to trigger that, if it's even real. Yeah, we can't even interact with the shit in this room. Let me Google if Rebecca can actually... I, I have this, I have some vague... I have some vague uh, recollection that she can help you, but I might be wrong about that. You don't like fixed camera angles, chat member? I love fixed camera angles. Uh, not only am I, you know, not only does this game have fixed camera angles, I'm intentionally playing with tank controls. You know what? I'm gonna waste the fucking self-defense gun that I never use on this block on this boss battle. And we are going to uh we're gonna first try this motherfucker. I promise, it's not going to go horribly wrong. And it turns out Rebecca can show up with, to help Chris with this boss fight, but you have to let Richard die. And I did, I'm not going to do that. I didn't do that. For the sake of trying to save some ammo, I'm going to use this. The bindings of the books seem to form some kind of pattern. Reorder the books. Yeah, we have to make a picture.
What a great secret passage. That was not enough to poison me, surprisingly. Now that gun is useless now, it can't be reloaded. Caution. Got the fuck. It's not that hard of a boss, really. The the V jolt weakens it a lot for for Jill, but. Even without doing that, it's not so bad. <gasps> oh, there oh, you are, Rebecca. You scared me. You okay? Yeah, it's dead. But... Richard... He's... Gone. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I should have watched out for him. I found a pharmaceutical room. I think I can come up with something useful. I'll be there. I'm glad you're still okay. Yay. Thanks for all the help, Rebecca. There, with that, we have the, uh, the helmet key. Time to go back to the mansion. Back to the lab again. Wesker? Chris, you're alive. My words exactly. Where's Jill? Thought you were with her. Yeah, I know. We got separated. I see. Anyway, we better find a way out of here before we turn into zombie food. Got any suggestions, Wesker? We should get a better grip on the situation. There must be areas still to be explored in that other mansion. Chris, I want you to check them out one more time. I'll continue my investigation here. Sure thing. What do you mean that other mansion? There's only one mansion, dude.
Look at Chris and Wesker being all buddy buddy, by the way. All right, the mansion's gonna be not a great place. So we're keeping the shotgun out for a little while. I suppose probably a good idea to save. That boss battle was pretty clean. I, there's an area we haven't gone to yet, but it's, uh, it's this catacombs area, and, uh, for me, for my money, that's the creepiest part of the fucking game, and I'm not looking forward to it. Krista Brad, can you hear me? Brad. Damn. I like Krista's whiskers. Bye, puppy. Oh, you fuck. Oh good, it didn't poison us. I was so sure that was gonna poison us. Here we are. Use this to protect yourself from that monster in chains that can't be hurt by guns. I also fix the doorknob to make sure you can get away, Wesker. Very specific knowledge you have of the of that monster, Wesker. Memory serves, we're going to have to save Rebecca soon. Here they, here they come. The reason I held on to the shotgun, these motherfuckers. Thank God I have a survival item. 
That guy was gearing up for an insta-kill. At least these things stay dead when you kill them. They're not like the regular zombies where you have to burn them too. I'm gonna hold on to this first aid spray for a little while. I may end up needing it. Alright, it's time to go around and see what doors we can unlock now that we've got the armor, or the, uh, helmet key. Here's one. Oh yeah, this fucking room. Welcome to the room that tries to crush you. Very slowly. What an amazing room to build in your mansion. And it's like, who's it gonna kill? It's... moves so slow. It's the fucking garbage compactor from Half-Life. There's a hole at your feet. You can't see very far into it, though. Go down. Hell yeah. The last book, volume one. Well, then it's not the last book. What can the words on the cover mean? A medal was hidden inside the book. We got the eagle medal. November 29th, 1967. I can't get out. I've tried every possible way to escape, but only to be faced with the reality that I'm trapped. I've been everywhere. The laboratory with the large glass tubes filled with formaldehyde and those dark, wet and eerie caves. What can I do? At first, I didn't want to believe my eyes, but that familiar high-heeled shoe in the corridor. It was like reflex. One name came to mind. Jessica. I don't want to believe that- th uh, I don't want to believe they share the same fate as me. No, I can't give up hope. I have to hope they're alive. November 30th, 1967. I haven't had anything to eat or drink for the past few days. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why is this happening to me? Why do I have to die like this? I was too obsessed with designing this ghastly mansion. I should have known better. November 31st, 1967. It was dark and damp underground tunnel. And another dead end, but even in the darkness something caught my eye. Carefully I lit the last match I had to see what it was. A grave. But deeply engraved into the stone was my name, George Trevor. At that instant, it all became clear to me. Those bastards knew from the beginning that I'd die here and I fell right into their trap. But it's too late now, I'm losing it. Everything is becoming so far... Uh, is becoming so far away. Jessica, Lisa... Forgive me. 
Because of my ego, I got both of you involved in this whole damn conspiracy. Forgive me. May God justify my death in exchange for your safety. George Trevor. A name is carved into the small gravestone. George Trevor. There's a switch. All you had to do is hit the switch, dude. Look, I'm still fighting spiders. There's a map of the Mansion B1. It's not a very big basement for considering how big the mansion is the basement is very small Not going to pick those herbs up just yet. Well, I managed to de decapitate one of them. How about we don't stand in the water with electrical sparks happening? <laughs> Looks like the power supply for the elevator. The main fuse has blown out. Switch over. Power supply appears to be functioning again. Thank you for not insta-killing me. You fuck. Elevator action. Dude, whatever. Say goodbye to your head. All right, where's the nearest storage room? I'd like to uh, burn this body here. Hmm, 
some shotgun shells. No, not yet. I'll be back for it. The nearest storage box isn't far, actually. Christ. Those are one of my favorite classic Resident Evil monsters, though. The hunters are fucking mint. that away for now um i'm gonna attempt to take out a i think there's one more hunter in a room up ahead at least one more taking them on with the handgun is not a good idea Okay, this hall is clear. That's good for now. Let me go burn that body and explore the rooms uh, that I didn't check out. Can I unlock this door too? Yep. There's two more doors the helmet key goes to. Or three more. Somewhere in that ballpark. Never mind, can't get in that way. Doorknob's broken. Alright, so we may as well grab this battery then. 
we're gonna need later. And then we're going to take, uh, we're going to go up into the attic. An area kind of like an attic anyway. This is the part of the game that I really like. It's just like wrapping up the mansion. Welcome back, Sky. How's your day going? Actually, before we go this way, let's let's take this. Whoa, hey. Wow. That guy was angry. Let's uh let's take this. Take this room. Okay. Alright. There's a fun little puzzle to solve in here. So the bison has a glowing eye, and the elk has a glowing eye. Mail to the Chief of Security. Confidential attention, Chief of Security, date July 22nd, 1998, 2.13. X day is drawing up on us. Execute the following procedures within one week. Prompt actions are demanded. One, lure stars to the estate and obtain BOW's raw combat data against stars. Two, collect two em embryos of each mutated specimen as samples. Excluding the tyrant, dispose of the tyrant. Ensure complete disposal of the Arclay Laboratory, including all personnel and test animals. Disguise their deaths as an accident. When the above procedures are executed, report to headquarters for further instructions. If, for some reason, you are unable to execute the procedure by the deadline, report immediately. In case of emergency situations, report directly to the extension number 5691. Good luck, Umbrella Headquarters, Umbrella Incorporated. Thanks for your jewel. The red one is actually not even needed. We need the yellow one.
And that puzzle's done. Fucking guy. Great. All right. I love hunters. Let's go. We need this MO disc. This is needed to uh, get the good ending. And uh, it's <laughs> it looks the way it does because it's a GameCube disc originally. It appears to be a disc for rebooting a system of some sort. The device you put it into looks like a GameCube. Might as well grab those. Alright, I think we're about to fight the snake again. This time for the last time. Chris, you aimed at the lowest priority monster.
took care of his ass. He won't be getting back up. Yeah, at this point I think there's one helmet key door left. Snake. It's time to finish this. Don't think I'll be so easy prey. As I walk into his mouth. Got the motherfucker. Not- a lot of the bosses in this game aren't all that tough. The hardest part about them, like that snake for example, is their chance to insta-kill you. There, let's see the other book we needed. We have the wolf medal and the eagle medal. We're now more or less ready to leave the mansion. Again. We'll be back one more time. Can't open it from this side either. Alright. Fine, have it your way. Going this way should be fine, honestly. I love the, the mansion theme changes at this point in the game. There it was, that was the last door for that key.
There's something handwritten. It's not dated. Nothing's changed. I never thought that this room I designed as an experiment would pay off like this. I can hide here safely for a while because nobody knows about the secret behind this painting. Not even Sir Spencer. Painting of a mansion in the back of the art room. Elaborately fashioned globe. There's an ink ribbon in there. I don't really need it. Yeah, give me the box. There's a round recession approximately four centimeters in diameter. We need some sort of ball to put in there. Alright, uh... eerie picture of the mansion. I shot it. Nothing happened. Somehow you can get on the other side of it, though. We just got a hint about that, and you can see the space on the map, too. Maybe with a knife. I knew a secret technique that blew that guy's mind. Alright, the secret room behind the painting is something you can't do anything with until after, um, you've beaten the game. It's- I forgot about it, but it's how you change- it's how you, uh, change, change into your costumes that you unlock. Right. 
we can just go. We can just get out of here. It's time to head to the area that I'm not looking forward to going to. The catacombs. The catacombs are great fun. Let's save. We've killed the snake, we've cleared out the mansion. We did pretty good. Good spot to save. We'll switch back to our handgun for a while. The doorknob has been repaired. Wesker fixed the doorknob for us. What a guy. Ready for the catacombs. Ready to get attacked by stupid dogs. I'm better off just running past them. There was actually three. There were three dogs in that room. And I just got poisoned. Dogs don't like to react to the handgun.
I'm here long enough to treat my poison. Well, shit, do I have any way to treat my poison? I mean, I do have a way to treat it, but... I gotta get there. All right, fuck off. Dogs are dead. Oh god, what a pain in the ass. But they're dead, so it doesn't matter. The sound of the waterfall seems to have stopped. There, we filled this back up. And we can go... into the catacombs. Because we powered on the, uh, the secondary elevator. A secret cut uh, a secret cave hidden behind a waterfall and it's one of the most horrific locations in the game <sighs> excuse me
I almost think we're gonna want the shotgun again. Which is too bad because it's running sus like terribly low on ammo. Maybe we'll get some more while we're down here. There's a hexagonal hole here. This crank is a square. Can't fit a square in a hexagon. I guess. A large boulder blocks the way. There are blood stains underneath the boulder. I have a video. I have a video I need to show off. This is a This is a square. Can you guess which spot that goes the in? The square. That's right. It goes in the square hole. Yes. Okay. And how about this rectangle? That one also the square. It goes in there too. Yeah. Up next. We've got this thin rectangle. The thin rectangle. Can you guess where that goes? The thin rectangle. That's right. It goes in the square hole. And up next, a cylinder. Hmm. The circle. I think that goes in the circle. The square hole. Now we've also got this semicircle right here. Do you see a slot that would fit the, the semicircle? Semicircle. The, sem the semicircle. That's right. It's the square hole. Okay. Up next. The triangle. We know what hole that goes the into, triangle. right? Triangle. That's right. The square hole. And up la up next, we have the arch. The arch. The arch. And you guessed it. The arch. It goes in the square oh, hole. God. I love that fucking video. Handgun bullets. Wow, 30. 30 handgun bullets in this room. The elevator's power source is around lid. Will you take the shaft? Y yeah, thanks. Oh, he's down to take a shaft. A huge gaping hole. Wonder what it was dug for. Oh man, this this stream has turned sus all of a sudden. Ga gaping holes and shafts.
double crosser. Enrico, wait. Enrico! Um, Rel. Enrico! A double crosser? Killed him with just one shot. Who could it be? Wait, he's holding something. There's the other crank. Soldier Boy would be so proud. Thought you could get the jump on me, asshole. Well, you did. Because my second shot missed somehow. I actually like like all the atmosphere and detail that's put into this area. It just happens to be one of the game's scare like creepiest locations. Why do they have such long recovery frames? I don't need to deal with it. I just die. Chris can't punch that boulder out of the way. <laughs> all right, shotguns all but used up at the moment. Time for the handgun. Somehow you just rotate the whole fucking section of the tunnel right there. Who, who the fuck set that up? Flamethrower. Forgot about this. Chris, this is the one unique moment Chris gets. He gets to use a flamethrower for a little while. A huge boulder blocks the way. Chris did not go to the Prometheus school of running away. drop some items off. Don't remember when we get the next part of the shaft, so I am going to drop it off for now.
flame on. You really think you stand a chance against an A-lister, bro? Spider. Much more terrifying than the wolf spider we fought this morning. Yeah, get flamed. Okay. Gotta cut the webs. Hopefully I can find a blue herb soon. Great. Fuck off. Spider fucking central down there. Beautiful. Yard map. All right, say bye bye to our flamethrower. It got us through a boss battle. I'm not going to complain about that. Hexagonal hole. I need to go get my crank back. Yeah, this room is a fucking nightmare. Um, again, all around this remake, like, it expands every area a little bit, and, like, the catacombs are still very close to the, the original PS1 game, but they've got just this little bit of extra flair. Couple extra rooms, much more detailed, some more puzzles, it's, it's great. This, this is a remake that's an example of, like, definitive version of the game. I like the first Resident Evil on PS1 out of nostalgia and the silly factor because that game is so much cheesier. But as far as gameplay is concerned, there's no reason to go back to it over this one.
Yay, that's the last boulder that's going to try to kill us. Cool, a free first aid spray. fairly simple puzzle. Some of these traps are, or, or puzzles are just like completely ridiculous if you try to imagine them being real. But it's fine. It, it, for a video game, they're, they're fine, fun puzzles. I just like that this room has a device specifically designed to push this statue off the wall because nobody in this world is capable of pushing, or of pulling, I mean. So don't tell anyone, but I think the other statue might be a JPEG. There's the the cylinder that we can combine with the shaft. So you are the one they call Shaft. With this, we can get the big mining elevator booted up and go for a ride down to the fucking worst place we've ever been in our lives. Don't let the anticipation kill you. Give me the shaft. Symbols are carved in its side. Will you turn it? Yeah, it's going to take a few turns, I think. There, the shaft is all put together. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna save because we've uh, cleared out a good chunk of the catacombs. The mansion and the final area are probably the two biggest areas in this game. The handful of areas between them are all middling in size. I'm inserting the shaft. A series of flashing buttons. Press one. Which button will you push? Nothing happening. Fuck. Oh, I, the numbers were there, I just didn't pay enough attention. Four, two, three, one. Restored. A lot of shit in Resident Evil 4 that would end up looking like this area. Now that I'm thinking about it. There's an item box over here. No typewriter, just an item box. garbage compactor. There's a switch. Press it. Garbage compacted. You guys are ready for horrors, uh, horrible, horrible things. In this room. There's something down here with us. And it's not killable. We're doing that section. Yeah, not quite that exciting, Sky. 
This is more, um... We're down in a creepy catacombs with a monster that can't be killed that walks very slowly and makes creepy fucking unsettling noises. A device for transporting materials started up. We... I mean, this part's really not that scary. As a kid, this part terrified the shit out of me. You know, Resident Evil 1 remake. Scary for babies. You gotta admit, this is a little unsettling, though. Just the way she follows you. She can't leave the donut room, so it's not that big of a deal. As a kid, though, I was worried she would chase me to the, like, any room I went to. I, 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 once I discovered Lisa in this game, I was afraid she could appear anywhere. Kind of like Mr. X. Another flamethrower, except this one's broken, because we just trash compacted it. But we need it to open the door. Uh, if I remember my Resident Evil lore right, Lisa has, like... I think she has uh, the T-Virus. Well, I know she has the T-Virus. She has a shit ton of it. She has tentacles, like, um, she has Plaga as well. This predates Resident Evil 4, though, so... Could have been, uh, a little bit of build-up for that next game. Her tentacles aren't out right now, but, uh... She has them, trust me. Oh, I have to pull the lever again. Fuck off, Lisa. We should be safe, but look how much creepier things have gotten. The desk is cluttered with old beat-up dolls and used candles. The fire has died out, but it shows signs of use. A huge collection of various kinds of dolls, they're all faded and worn. 
So, for me, the creepiest part about Lisa is the backstory we're about to learn. You got the stone ring. A family picture and notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Progenator virus administered, Jessica. Administered virus type A. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion negative, action disposed. Lisa, administered virus type B. Plasmalizing of tissue during cell activation. Virus fusion positive, but delayed fusion. Body modification, observed constant results. Status, continue protective observation. George, action terminated November 30th, 1967. There's a journal left by someone. November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after that shot they gave me. I don't see mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did she escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th, 1967. I found mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was f a fake, not my real mom. Same face but different inside. Have to find mom. Have to give face back to mother. I got mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attach her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom's sad when I meet her without her face. November 17th, 1907. From inside box, scent of mommy. Maybe true mother there. Stone box hard, it hurt. Steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. There's a good chance that last entry was written in 1997, a year before the game takes place. Meaning Lisa has enough intelligence still to leave notes behind. A bunch of photographs featuring a young girl, depicting various scenes from her upbringing. She's, this is the room she's been living in. In the mansion. That she has free fucking reign of. A couple of weathered old barrels containing what looks like water. Here we are, back in her shack. She has secret passages all over the fucking mansion. That freaked me out when I was a kid, the, the knowledge of that. I mean, she's the reason this fire is running in this fireplace. I think this creepiest thing about Lisa to me is that she's one of the only Resident Evil monsters, especially this early in the franchise, to maintain so much intelligence.
Alright, I gotta remember what to do next. Missed. Um, hmm. What haven't I done? I know, I think we have to deal with Lisa's mother next, but I gotta remember... I gotta remember how to get to that point. Yeah, there we go. I always forget that that's what the red gemstone's for for this one. Look, now we get to do a little, um... Oh, what's this called? Uh... Fuck, how could I forget the name of this? Tessellations? Start with that piece. I know that this piece goes here. fucked up. No, 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 no. Hmm. 
boom. There was a brooch inside. There's nothing unusual. There we go. It's a key. Spencer family key. And that's what we needed to do. Uh, bleh, that's what we needed to do next, baby. <gasps> and that's the one door it goes to. Shit, Rebecca. Re Rebecca. Is she upstairs? Gotta save her. Need my shotgun. Time to go. If you Rebecca, aren't quick enough. Chris, are you okay? I didn't mean to get you worried. We can't stay here any longer. We have to get to the others and find a way out of here. You with me? Yes. Then I'll go ahead. Until then, Rebecca, you're on your own. Stay cool and use your better judgment. Got it? I can handle myself. Good luck. If you don't get to Rebecca quick enough, that fucking thing cuts her head off. And it is not game over. It simply locks you into the neutral ending. Because this game has several endings varying on, like, how many people survive. And, and, of course, who you play as. I think there's three endings for Jill and Chris. There might technically be more than that, because uh, there, I, for Chris, there's the ending where basically just Chris gets away. There's the ending where Chris and Jill get away, and the ending where Chris, Jill, and Rebecca get away. And there might be an ending for just Chris and Rebecca if you don't save Jill. And then for Jill, there's Jill gets away, Jill and Chris get away, Jill, Chris, and Barry get away. Or just Jill and Barry. I think those are all the possible endings.
All right. Let's go back in that office. I know there's at least three endings per character. But there might be four. Shotgun shells. Thanks. Maybe no one's been in here, yeah. This is like the quaintest office in the whole mansion. Alright, it's time to take care of Lisa and her mother. I've got over 70 handgun rounds. going outside at least not for now You know what I love about the Resident Evil door transitions? And this was, this was present even in the PS1 original. There's a unique door animated, polygonally animated, for each door in the game. So they, they had to model every single door. Wonder what's on the other side of this door. There are octagonal indentations to the right and left of the door. The two emblems fit neatly into the door. typewriter. If I had an ink ribbon, I could save. I should save. This boss has a really easy way to insta-kill you, and the boss itself is unkillable.
Here we go. Let's see if I can first try it. Can we go any deeper? You're a bit of a mess up. Chris, take a piece of the action. All right, Wesker. I got this. I know how to beat Lisa. There's her Las Plagas tentacles, by the way. Wesker and I got through that pretty good. I'll investigate this area a little further. But yeah, she can knock you off the all, any of the ledges and you're dead. You you open that coffin up. You, it's the only boss in the game you don't kill. You open that coffin up for her. She grabs her mother's skull and then jumps off the ledge. There's a large iron door and it won't budge. I need my wolf and eagle medals. Definitely one of the most unique enemies the game has the series has ever had. I mean and she was not present in the PS1 original. She's unique to this version. So she is newer than the, the Pursuer enemies from 2 and 3, but unlike the Pursuer enemies from 2 or 3, you don't have a traditional boss fight against her. We are headed to the final area of the game. Real quick, uh, just let me check something. There was two items I wanted to make sure I hadn't missed, and I haven't. So, off we go. Much like Resident Evil 2 ending with the laboratory, Resident Evil 1 does as well.
All right. I got two wolves inside me and they won't stop fucking. Final area. The sign reads, will not open unless in first class emergency. Get the X-Men here, quick. Uh, yes, we're gonna want to start burning bodies again. Because we're gonna be fighting zombies again. Let me grab my, let me grab my kerosene flask. Isn't the music down here just great? Lab coat. Fuel canteen refueled. All right, second MO disc. One more to find. With some luck, we should have no problem finishing this game today. 
and I'll have finally streamed Resident Evil Remake to completion. It's not as luxurious as the lab from 2, but it's... It's a pretty good lab. Will you take the x-ray? Sure. A memo on the message board catches your attention. There's something scrawled on the notepad. To use the electronic door, place the initials in alphabetical order. Alex Be Betchett. And, uh, the name written at the top, Alex Betchett. A. Examine. C. A, B, C. Alright, so Clark David is next. And then Gail Holland. Part of it is glowing red. Let's see, we got the colon. So the colon's glowing red on this guy, the esophagus. No, no, no. The liver and the lungs. Researcher's letter, June 8th, 1998. My dearest Ada, by the time you read this letter, I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today, and as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impending doom. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass, but if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you can log into the system using my name and your name as the password. You will need another password to release the lock of the door in basement level 2, where the visual data room is located. As a safety measure, I have coded that password into an x-ray picture, a uh, Riantgenogram. Uh, I know you, and I'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble. There's just one more thing, and it is my last request. I hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state. But if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. Yours truly, John. John. Ada. That me that note is unchanged from the PS1 original. So that wasn't just thrown in there because this version's newer than Resident Evil 2. It, it always was a message to Ada, even, even in 96. An herb mix of two green herbs was inside. Great. Yep. 
And here's the door we need the discs for. Again, it was just a name and a note that ended up becoming a character later on in the series. By later on, I mean one entry later, but still. Burn him, please. Burn the body. variety of chemicals you've never seen before. Look at these bodies. V-Act researchers note. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basis or the basic composition of the body. The host eventually mutated into a humanoid creature. We call them V-Acts. Its speed and amazing muscular development are particularly not noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it, turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't be left there. We have to figure out a way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Yep, which we uh, set free way early in the game. Look at this fucking OS. Umbrella Computer OS Ropples TM Copyright Umbrella Corp. Welcome to Umbrella. Please input. And the password for this is cell. Colon, esophagus, liver, lungs. There we go. Everything is unlocked. I bet the Umbrella OS is just a variety of Linux. They just used Linux as a base. Made their own OS. Can't even run video games. Thanks for letting your head blow up, dude. Really made my day.
nothing like a good blow once in a while. You know what I mean? Naked zombie. slide cartridge there seems to be something behind this sturdy door open it no we don't need the volatile chemical yet we do need to interact with this GameCube a security system passcode transmission device if you had an MO disk you could transmit transmit the passcode to the system fax to sanitation division Manager of Sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. The contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the named addressee only. Any copying or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. After reading the contents of this fax, it must be destroyed immediately. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus's outbreak than initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern, more than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Second concern, our secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are, dem are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many casualties to follow. However, yet unfortunate, these casualties underscore the success our research results. Action must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public. We suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and STARS. We strongly recommend taking measures against them first. Let me go back to a storage box and make some space real quick. We'll grab an MO disc, scan it, and uh, pick up that film reel. <coughs> and not, not film reel, slide cartridges. This theme is quite atmospheric, but it's actually a little toned down from the PS1 version. I like it for different reasons, but the PS1 version is much harsher. Let me play an example. So this is the original PS1 version.
it's very similar in the GameCube version, but the GameCube version is calmer, almost. The GameCube version goes for more build-up. Yeah, right. Yeah, the the original theme is has this mysterious air to it, and it's intense all the time. Versus this version, which starts off low and builds up, and then goes low again. To, in an effort to be more unsettling. That too, yeah. And then when you come down here to this area, you get a, th a theme that comes closer to sounding like the PS1 theme. It's still not exact. Yeah, once you come down here, the theremin comes back. But you still have those weird sounds in the background that could almost be mistaken for just noise. The, down here, it almost sounds like a, the kind of music you'd hear in a Metroid game. Transmitting the passcode seems to have unlocked something. Yeah, um, it, the series wouldn't get super exciting music until, I don't know, Resident Evil 4, probably. Like, I like the soundtracks for the classic Resident Evils, but they're very, um... They hadn't really reached that point of wanting to be, like, cinematically exciting with the music just atmospheric. It's like Resident Evil 2 Remake has that great escape theme, but if you think about it, that escape theme is not scary, it's exciting. A passcode entry terminal. Use it. I don't know the passcode. But Resident Evil 2 Remake is also one of the, you know, a, a very scary entry in the series. They just learned that they could include exciting moments and still make a horror game.
How do I, uh... Videos are stored on the shelves. They're all security camera recordings. How do I play my, my slides? The film has been set into place. View it? Yeah. Umbrella, bioorganic weapon, official report. MA-39, Cerberus. F-103, Neptune. MA-121, Hunter. T-002, Tyrant. Bioorganic Weapons Research Group. Development Staff. 8341706233. Who is that guy on the right with the sunglasses? Red colored slides inside. Eight, four, six, two. We can watch Kenneth's body cam footage now. Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to watch Kenneth's film. Do you the film? you take the laboratory key? <laughs> Kenneth is the first Stars Marie find dead in the mansion, and that body cam footage, for whatever reason, was added to this version of the game. You... Oh, you you have to pick it up off his body, though, so it's missable. But it just depicts him getting killed by the very first zombie in the series. A momentous occasion, I suppose. over to our shotgun for a bit. Kenneth gets the honor of dying to the series' very first zombie. He- he always has.
Okay, where, uh, where am I going from here? Right, I got a laboratory key. Let's use that wherever it goes. Look at that bl Blade Runner r lighting right there. I hear a fun sound. We gotta watch the, the second Blade Runner one of these days, Sky. Isn't that thing fun? That's why I grabbed the shotgun. The operating table is covered in blood. This blood doesn't look like it came from surgery, though. Rusted shut and won't budge. Various antitoxins, splash grenade, hell yeah. Another GameCube. Body bag lay lies on the simple bed. The date indicated on the bag is quite old. Alright, we just gotta find the last MO disc and the last GameCube to transmit it with. Whatever, say goodbye to your head. Any second.
I'm glad I brought the shotgun. Alright, just gotta find the last disc. Hello, gear. Yes, shotgun very strong. The lab self-destruct mechanism, it's huge. It's so huge! Alright, two rounds left for this bad boy. There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. System won't initialize. It appears to need some kind of fuel to get started. We have to bring the highly volatile fuel to the- to this room. missed. Bro, skill issue. Okay, so I already had the last disc, it turns out. I'm gonna use the last three rounds in this shotgun. Let's go transmit this last MO disc. These bug creatures are cool, and variations of them appear throughout the series, I guess, but it's... It's kind of interesting that these original ones only appear very briefly.
Basically just in this room uh, at the end of the game. All GameCubes activated. This area is very close in design to the PS1 counterpart. I don't they didn't really change much as far as I can remember. Maybe the positioning of a couple of rooms, but other than that. This is definitely one of the uh, closer to one to one areas. Levers for releasing the door locks. Looks usable pull it. Whatever's on the other side of this door must be extremely dangerous. It's Chris? Jill. Jill. Chris, Wesker's the... I know. I can't open it. Just wait, I'll be back. Okay. There. We're all set for getting the best ending. There seems to be something behind this sturdy door. Open it. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Looks like a refueling device. Oh, I have to bring something to it. Fuck, I need a, I need a container for the fuel. Hold on. I don't remember if you can run with the fuel. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look it up before I blow myself up. No. Running will set it off. Got it. Running or getting attacked.
That should have been the last of those guys. They're now extinct. I forget where I have to take the fuel. Hold on. That's where... The, take the empty capsule, thanks. Alright, let's not blow ourselves the fuck up. Guess what weapon I'm about to equip. We've, uh, we've reached that point of the game. Can you believe it? Can you believe I've pulled the magnum from the box? And all of the magnum ammo? It's time to walk very slowly to the fueling station. Running could result in a fatal explosion.
That drink almost went down the wrong pipe. I hate to be the researcher who had to regularly refuel this thing. Yay, now I'm not a volatile explosive anymore. <coughs> 357. I forgot to investigate them yesterday. They're they're hollow point 357 rounds. There, everything's powered up. It's time to finish this. Give me just a second. I'm going to get my oven heating up so I can make dinner. There. I like how the game in my BRB screen were making basically the same white noise. I didn't even see this door. I'm pretty sure this is the final storage room. It is, yay. I could have saved a lot of time if I had not forgotten about this. You know what? Let's, uh, let's save.
Here goes. The elevator isn't working. It looks like you'll have to operate the switch on the right hand side. Okay, thanks for being so specific. It appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. The elevator is working. Chris! Rebecca! I saw you in the inner garden. I finally caught up. Well, I'm glad you're okay. No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. Kid. Are you ready for the, the big reveal? Wesker. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. But of course you are one of my men. Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. And stars were Umbrella's... No, rather, my little piggies. The Tyrant virus leaked, polluting this whole place. And unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! No! Oh yes, dear. Just like this. Rebecca! Don't move! You... I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. Wesker's ultimate life the form. Ultimate life form. Tyrant. <laughs> Wesker, you've become senile. Chris, you'll never understand. It's magnificent. Ooh, Wesker. To freak. I love the very first tyrant. He's just like, he's like seven feet tall, butt ass naked. Basically. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. The discovery of the G-Virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the primogenitor... Pr pr primogenitor virus. 
a prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery, but now everything is clear to me. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then, from that incubating state, the prototype suddenly mutated, evolved, maybe a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight in my research. Through further modification and testing, I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look on Alexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Birkin. That is one of the few notes in this game that's new to this version. They name drop William Birkin and Alexia from uh, Code Veronica just to tie all of it, all of the classic games together. A panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. Release the lock? No, first let's check on Rebecca. Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Okay. Electronic lock released. Time to blow this popsicle stand. What is it? I found a file in the lab. Apparently, there's still a lot of tyrant virus here. We should blow this whole place up. Right. The show must go on. <laughs> I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. This time around, like in the first game, it's us that does the self-destruct. We do it ourselves. Rebecca's like, let's blow this fucking place up. And Chris goes, hell yeah. Just imagine how angry Chief Irons is going to be when he finds out that we willingly blew up the mansion. Look at all this health. I'm just headed for the entrance again, I believe. Uh, I gotta go get Jill, I think.
There we go. Now Jill's... Now Jill's cell is open. is released. Jill, sorry I made you wait. I knew you'd come. Let's get out of here. Funny, if you play as Chris, you escape the mansion with two ladies. If you play as Jill, you escape the mansion with two buff dudes. Let's get going! In the best ending, respectively. For both characters. <laughs> oh, yeah. I may as well save just in case the final boss battle goes horribly. Oh, look at all these last minute supplies. I can't carry any more shit, guys. Come on. Yeah, so generous. Thanks for the single green herb. We gotta signal Brad somehow so he can get us the fuck out of here. We didn't really think about our escape plan too much. Three minutes to detonation. The self-destruct system's activated. Yeah, Good we could work. tell. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But... Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. Here we go. Three minutes to finish the game.
conveniently placed rockets for signaling air support. How about we put Rebecca down? Just like that. <laughs> I've never beaten this game on hard because of how hard it is, but maybe someday I'll, I'll do it. On hard, it basically is everything kills you in one hit. I will always love how cheesy the endings for classic Resident Evils are. I mean, by the time this remake had come out, the series had blown up, but yes. My boy, Shinji Mikami. Chris, you did a fine job. Just a little over seven hours. 
Now play with features from the prototype version. Real survival mode unlocked. Item boxes are no longer connected, meaning that items can only be taken from the box where they were stored. Also, weapon aiming is manual. Experience these prototype-only features unavailable in the original Resident Evil gameplay. Here, you want to make the game worse for yourself? Have fun. This is what we survival horror players, you know, the, our definition of fun is making the game more miserable. You got a closet key costumes. Perfect. Beautiful. And there we go. That's it. Resident Evil GameCube remake. A lovely game. There, real quick. I, I, I've got some bonus stuff we're going to do. I'm going to throw dinner in the oven, and I'll be right back. So, hang tight.